Uh, hey guys, it's LB. Today I'm going to be doing a, a nice little run through Lazy Admin uh, from TryHackMe. A room, an, an easy room that's just meant to practice, you know, uh, your standard enumeration and pen testing skills. Um, forgive me if this is a little messy. It's my first time doing something uh, like this. I'm more of a writer than a entertainer. I do write-ups and stuff all the time, but uh, this is the first time I'm doing something like this. So I'm just going to try to get through this as smoothly as possible, and hopefully we'll see more of this to come in the future. So like all good stories, uh, this one starts off with an end map scan. So I'm not going to do it because I already have this scan here. I did this room before I just finished it, or I finished it yesterday. But um, you start off with an end map scan, so let's take a look at the scan. Okay, so it's a very small and friendly attack surface. No surprise there being uh, that it is an easy room. We have port 22, which is most likely not going to offer us a foothold. And we have port 80, which seems to be running uh, Apache. So let's take a look at the web server and see what's on it. It looks like it's just a default page before we even go on it, but let's take a look at it anyway for good practice. And as we can see, it is just the default Apache page. Uh, it doesn't look like there is anything too interesting here. And I don't think we will find anything. So since this is pretty much the only tax surface, let's also start directory busting. See if we can find anything in there. So I'm going to do uh, Go Buster for this. You can use whatever you want. You can use a Dur, you can use a Dur Buster, whatever whatever floats your boat, but I personally like Go Buster. A 2.3 medium. I forgot to specify the mode, so we're gonna put dirt here. And let's set our threads to the max. Wait for that to find something, and as you can see, we already get a redirection right here. So let's visit it, let's see what's on here, see if anything good is on here. And we got something that looks pretty interesting. So uh, it says Sweet Rice Notice, welcome to Sweet Rice, thank, uh, thank you for installing Sweet Rice as your website management system. So now we know the CMS that this web server is running, we could potentially enumerate for any exploits. Um, we can continue reading this and we can also continue searching for a version number. I wasn't able to find one in here. Uh, there was really nothing in the source. Uh, there was nothing uh, nothing in here either. So I just enumerated for sweet rice exploits in general. So sweet rice exploits. And one that jumped out to me was backup disclosure and arbitrary file upload. So I'm going to open both of these in a new tab. We see backup disclosure. This is uh, a very easy vulnerability to understand. Uh, basically, we can access uh, information on the web server uh, in in this directory right here in the ink directory it seems so let's try that let's try accessing some stuff we shouldn't be able to access I'm also going to stop the go buster I don't need those threads running anymore and it looks like this website is vulnerable we have access to the ink directory uh, there's a lot of stuff in here um, as we can see most of these are notes and a lot of them actually their file size is very small uh, some are empty but um, nothing really jumps out besides uh, MySQL backup. We can take a look at that. All this other stuff is just notes, like remember, do entry, do home, do lang. Uh, fonts, HGA access looks interesting, but once we open it, there really isn't anything in here. So I'm just going to download this file. I'm actually not going to download it because, again, I already have it. So clear. And let's take a look at what's in here. So this looks like a backup file for the SQL server. It's in PHP and obviously uh, SQL, the database seems to be MySQL as we can tell by here. Um, we keep scrolling down and we see a good chunk of data right here. 
going through it, we see the uh, website stuff. We see some tags. We see the author is lazy admin. Keep going through. We see something interesting here. It looks like a password hash. Uh, that's because it is, as we can see here, it has the name password. So it'd be good to take note of this. And also the admin, it says it here is manager. So manager and this hash right here look to be uh, valid credentials. I already have them saved somewhere. But I don't think I saved the hash, only the cracked password. And obviously we wanna go through that process. So I'm just gonna copy the hash and we're gonna crack it. Uh, you can use anything you want. Uh, you can use a uh, Hashcat or uh, John the Ripper if you're using a virtual machine. Um, I ended up just using an online crack station, or not crack station, I ended up using this uh, uh, Hashcracker uh, website that I really like right here, and I just search by all hash types. Uh, that looks to be an MD5 or an MD4, but I'm just going to do search by all hash types, and it will cripply uh, decrypt it. We see here the password is... Uh, one, two, three. Now you could have cracked this on John or Hashcat within uh, seconds with the standard Rocky word list, but I just did it here because uh, I found it was easier than forming up the command for John or Hashcat. So now we have the decrypted password and we have a username. Uh, at this point when I was originally going through it, I'm like, okay, I have information now. Uh, I can try this and also it looks like this is the path because as we can see right here, the exploit needs a username and a password. So let's try this exploit. Um, I don't have it in my directory, so I'm just gonna copy it real quick. Zoom in on my terminal so you guys can see better. And let's run that exploit. Let's try Python 3, 407, let's see what happens. Okay, enter the target URL. So I'm just gonna copy the IP address. Uh, with the addition of the content directory. Username manager, password is password123. And I have a shell in this directory, a PHP shell. It's the uh, pen test monkey reverse shell, so let's just try that. And it says file uploaded successfully. We can go here to uh, trigger the payload. I'm not gonna actually open up a netcat session or anything because we are about to see that this, for some reason, uh, will not work. Oh, uh, see, right there. So um, after trying to fix this, I figured I was just wasting my time and I figured out how to do this uh, manually. So we can see in the exploit um, that it is sending a post request to this directory, the AS directory uh, with the sign in type. So I'm assuming the AS directory is the default directory for the admin dashboard. So we can go ahead and a look at that and it is so let's sign in manager a password one two three and we see we're able to log into the sweet rice uh, management system the dashboard and if you've ever done a remote code execution on a CMS's before you know that being able to replace PHP code is very dangerous and I've noticed this a lot in theme tabs of CTFs that host CMSs. I know a lot of theme tabs have RCE and that is the case here. We can go to home or any here. So let's just go to home and we can see that we do have the ability to replace a PHP code. So at this point, uh, this is gonna be our foothold. This is how we are going to get a shell on the system. So, uh, you can use any PHP shell you want. My favorite and many other people's favorites are uh, Pentest Monkey, PH, PHP Reverse. You can find it right here on GitHub. We can also find it on their website, wherever that is. Uh, this is the best in my opinion. So let's do that right now. I have this shell in my directory. I just renamed it to shell uh, because when I was uploading this file, I wanted to type an easy name to use. It doesn't matter now, but it did then. So let's edit it, find our IP address first, and then edit it. And uh, all we need to do to configure this shell is we just need to go down 
and we need to replace the IP address in the port. I believe this is already the VPN IP address, but I am not sure. Uh, yes, it is actually. And I'm fine with the port 444. So um, I'm just gonna quit this. This is all configured for me. But if, if it wasn't, you know, you'd get it. You just put the IP address and the port you're gonna be listening on. I'm not gonna do that since it is the right IP address. So that looks good. I'm just gonna copy the shell right here. So just copy the entire shell, all the code, and we can replace the theme with this PHP payload. Oh, it's still going up. <laughs> okay, uh, here. So we can just select all this, delete it, and replace it. And a final thing we wanna do is, of course, uh, start our listener. So let's do that. If I can scroll down, for some reason it's not letting me, okay. Okay, so netcat lvp4444, and I'm on Parrot OS, so I'm gonna have to sudo. And we are listening. So let's click done, uh, this should update it. And we have the directory here, so going to this a directory will trigger this PHP payload and we should get a shell. So let's see if it works. And it is loading and it is not actually along the page, but it does say it's loading, so that's a good sign. And we do have a shell. So we can run humanmi and we'll be WW data, no surprise there. Now let's upgrade this to a bash shell. So Python C imports PTY, PTY.spawn, bin bash. And there we go. So uh, we can go grab the user file. So let's go to home, see what's in here. Only one user. Again, a nice friendly attack surface. And we see user.txt, so we can go grab that by just catting it, and there it is. Um, I don't have my X term set because, you know, this is a netcat session and I'm not going to set my X term, but you could do that if you want. Uh, right now we see two very interesting things uh, within the IT guys directory, which is the backup uh, Perl script in the MySQL login.txt. We can see MySQL login. and it is uh, SQL credentials. Again, I'm not sure why this is in here because I never did end up using it. I also encountered this uh, somewhere on this site. It had these credentials. I forgot where, maybe dashboard was it? I'm not sure, data maybe. Uh, I'm not sure, it's somewhere on this site, uh, the SQL credentials. But I'm not sure why it's there. I never used it. This backup.perl script is important though for privilege escalation. So let's do the standard thing we always do uh, to enumerate privs vectors on Linux. Let's use sudo l, see what we can run. And we see that we can run this command. We can use perl to run this script, which is right here. Now let's see if we have the uh, privileges to um, write to this script. So. And it seems we do not. We can only read and execute it. I keep forgetting I don't have the next term set. <laughs> uh, so let's see what's in this uh, script, this Perl script, backup.pl. And we see all it's doing is running this copy.sh script, which is in that location. So let's go see what that is. So cat copy.sh. And it's just a command in here. Uh, this actually looks like a reverse shell in here, but uh, we don't need that at all. We can just, uh, can we write to this shell? That's also something we'd wanna see. So let's get rid of that. And we can write. So we can just change this uh, script to do something malicious that we want, and it should all be good should all be good in the hood so let's do that let's echo just let's just open a bin bash shell in there and let's echo it to etc copy.sh and that should be absolutely fine so now if we see what's in that file 
we can see it's been bash and that all this is going to do is it's going to open a terminal but since we have the permission to run this script that runs this script as roots uh, this script right here is going to be running as roots and so bin bash is going to execute uh, with root permissions so let's go ahead and confirm this and uh, do the command we are allowed to run so sudo l right here and let's sudo paste the command and see what happens and as you can see it worked perfectly we are root so now we can go back uh, all the way back let's just do cd root and we have the flag right here i'm not going to cat it because you should obviously try this on your own but that was lazy admin um, very simple very fun easy box and very meant for beginners um, or very much meant for beginners so if you like the video be sure to like uh, subscribe leave a comment thank you guys for watching um, in the future i will be doing more boxes on hack the box and try hack me uh, easy boxes like this as well as medium to hard boxes or at least my attempt to um, Usually I won't have finished the boxes when I record them I just did this one because it's the latest box I finished on try hack me and I already did it So let me go what up uh, crap <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about this if you want to see more of it I'll definitely start streaming uh, some try hack me sessions and some hack the box boxes or some retired hack the box boxes because we can't stream active ones. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.